Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing some parcels which arrived in the mail over the last couple weeks. I have no idea what's in these, but uh, today we're going to find out. I think it should be interesting. We're going to start off with this uh, envelope. As I said, not a clue what's in these things, but, uh, well, there's only one way to find out. So let's begin here. What is that? Hmm. Whoa. Okay, I have no idea what this stuff is, but uh, this seems interesting. Anyway, let's have a look here. Hello Harrison, uh, I build uh, my own model railway equipment using ideas found on the internet. As well, I restore old radios. I like to combine new and old technologies, so I've made you two USB flash tubes that glow in the dark like old vacuum tubes. Really enjoy your YouTube instructional videos. Keep it the good work, Craig. Wow, thank you so much, Craig. I really do appreciate it. What, uh, what an interesting thing. Check that out. I love the uh, vintage uh, box. This is really well put together, too. And uh, I guess this is the other one, another retro box. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know a whole lot about these uh, types of things, but uh, really uh, something interesting and well, not something you see every day on the channel. Look at that! Wow! Uh, thank you so much. Anyway, on to the next box. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a Rapido uh, lighting kit. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, well, that's very nice. Uh, I'm not sure there, there, I think there'd be like a, a letter or something in here. That's... I might've opened this from the wrong side, who knows. No letter or anything. Huh. Well, uh, to whoever sent this, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. And anyway, on to our final box. This one uh, did say on the label that it contains some trains, but I have no idea what those are, so let's find that out. I'm actually just going to shorten up my blade here so I hope I don't cut anything that might be inside the box. Oh. Well, check that out. That's another one from uh, Sento Hobby. Sent some stuff uh, earlier this year. Hello, SMT. I've sent you some HO scale stuff I found in my train collection and thought you would like it. I'm not sure if the engine runs or not, so you will have to find out. There are also some 3D printed trucks that I made in the box, along with some other stuff. Hope you enjoy, Sento Hobby. Wow, thank you uh, so much. Uh, so uh, here is everything that uh, arrived. Uh, I think that's just a bit of packaging, but um, well, we've got whatever this is. It looks like some sort of Japanese uh, piece. I, I don't, I don't know exactly what that is, but uh, that's something. Anyway, we've also got some uh, model cars. Uh, looks like military type equipment, probably for uh, N scale. We've got some various signage. More various signage. You got a whole bunch of uh, different figures. You got some uh, wildlife uh, right here. A uh, little bit of uh, well, looks like we got some like shelving and uh, some spare parts. More military vehicles. Uh, this is uh, it's one of those things that they coil like uh, large amounts of piping or wire around. I think this is HO scale. And uh, down here, let's see whatever this is. Hudson's Bay Oil and Gas. So it must be a Canadian car of some kind. I've uh, never seen these before, but uh, it's a nice tanker. Made by, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's lifelike, nice. All right, let's see what else uh, lies in here. Ooh, caboose. Or a caboose for some of you out there. Union Pacific. It doesn't have any wheels, but maybe that's what uh, these are for. 
and uh, got. Oh, check this out. Small locomotive of some kind. I think I've seen these before uh, on the internet. Uh, I think Matchbox had a whole line of uh, small locomotives for a while. Obviously it doesn't operate on any track or anything, but uh, it's sort of a, a cool idea of theirs. And, uh, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, there's uh, another part of their uh, product line, a uh, little flatbed car. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> very cool. They really had a nice way of styling this stuff. Very, very nice. Now, uh, finally, I believe the last piece is the locomotive. Looks to be a switcher of some kind. Well, it is, as a matter of fact. So this is a Atherin Blue Box Santa Fe switcher. I have one that's very similar to this one, although this looks uh, slightly different. It's a nice little switcher. And uh, even though it's in the letter that it might not run, um, it's an Atherin Blue Box, so I'd be very surprised if this thing's permanently broken. These things are super tough. In fact, why don't we take it over to the track and just test it out? I bet it will fire right up. All right, let's get this number all set up on the track. I'd, uh, I'd put money on this thing starting. <laughs> yep, typical blue box, fires right up. In fact, uh, this one appears to be running uh, kind of nicely. It's not loud or anything. Very, very smooth. Well, uh, yeah, that's nice. Thank you so much for uh, sending this. Well, folks, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Before I finish off this video, I just want to uh, thank all the people that sent all this stuff in. It was very generous of all of them. So first of all, I'd like to uh, thank Craig for sending in these uh, very tasteful and nicely boxed uh, USB drives. It's really an uh, interesting hobby you got going there, Craig, and I appreciate you uh, sharing it with me and everybody who watches these videos. Uh, second, I'd like to thank the uh, mystery person who sent this in. I wish I could uh, thank whoever sent this in uh, by name, but uh, I didn't see anything in the box. So either I missed something or whoever sent this just wanted to uh, remain anonymous. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, thank you so much to uh, whoever out there decided to uh, send this. And uh, finally, thank you so much, Cento Hobby, for the various odds and ends with uh, signage and pieces of uh, equipment in both HO and N scale. The uh, pretty interesting little uh, matchbox uh, things, which uh, I think are from about the 1970s or so. And uh, the uh, locomotive and two pieces of rolling stock. It was uh, very generous and thoughtful for you to send all that, so I uh, thank you very much. Anyways, with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.